Hi everybody, I'm very excited today. I'm here with uh, Dr. Anita Sturham. She is a general practitioner and uh, she specializes in one of my favorite topics, the skincare and anti-aging medicine. Hello, Dr. Anita. Hi, so lovely to see you. Hi, it's so good to see you. I'm so excited to talk to you. Oh my gosh, hair removal is such a big topic. But a lot of times, I think that we forget one of the most important steps, or one, yes, of the really important steps that is how to prep the skin prior to the hair removal. I'm so glad that you've mentioned that because we often spend most of our time and attention on this part, and actually our body skin deserves equal attention. Um, so not only does looking after your body skin help with hair removal, but it also makes your body skin look smoother, healthier, more youthful and radiant. But regardless of the method of hair removal you choose, it's really good to exfoliate the night before. I recommend doing it the night, the night before so you're not inflamed when you do your hair removal. Um, whether you shave, whether you epilate, whether you use IPL, um, the night before you use a body brush or scrub. Um, just to kind of get rid of any old dead skin cells and that will help to reduce ingrown hairs. I am really a newbie as far as epilation. So my first uh, questions are regarding um, how long does epilation take and for how long I can actually see the results. Oh, so welcome to the world of epilation. I think once you start that journey, um, you'll be hooked because it's a really nice longer term hair removal solution. So unlike shaving where you have to redo um, the method every couple of days when you get rapid regrowth, epilation gives you hair removal solution for up to three to four weeks. And that's because you're plucking the whole hair from the hair root. I think you have the Braun Silk Epil 9 Flex, this device here. So this is a great tool to have because not only does it effectively remove body hair by plucking with its micro grip tweezer technology, it's also got a flexible head, which is actually really unique for an epilator. It makes it great for those hard to reach areas like the knees um, where you've got your body contours to work against. So you've got a good tool there. Right, that's, that, that looks amazing really. Um, another important question, does it hurt? Is it painful? I think epilation gets a bit of bad press because there are lots of different devices out there, but the more modern devices like the one that you have, have lots of built-in features to make it more comfortable. So the first thing is there's a special sensor in this device that tells you how much pressure to apply and it guides you with a light so that you don't press too hard or too light so you get effective hair removal. The second thing is it's fully waterproof. Once it's charged, you can take this and use it in the bath or shower. And I find this makes a massive difference to the comfort. Um, so when I do this myself, I don't feel anything really when I do it in the bath. So that that two design features really make this better for you. Oh, that's that's great. But um, another thing that uh, um, I found out that it's really interesting that you can also epilate your face. You can, but don't use this. Don't use a body tool for your face. <laughs> Um, so make sure that you use a tool that's designed for the face. So the Braun has a face bar pro and it's got a really nice epilator head. You can see it's really kind of sleek and that's perfect for treating those areas which are slightly smaller and more delicate. So popular areas are upper lip, chin, jawline and then between the eyebrows. Um, and again, it's got the, the kind of the very unique micro grip tweezer technology that plucks the hairs rapidly from the hair roots, so you get up to three to four weeks without any regrowth. You can also do the eyebrows, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, now, let's talk about one of my favorite topics that is skincare. Um, I know you have so much experience and, you know, I'm, I'm 45, so I'm very, I'm very, I'm a big fan of skincare. Is there, what do you recommend as far as serums, acids, is, what are your suggestions, your advices? Well, I can tell you like your skincare because you look great for 45. Um, and actually, I can always tell those people who do use a good skincare routine, but serums are one of the most important steps in your skincare routine every single day. So you should be using one after your cleanser in the morning and at nighttime after your cleanse. 
And so your type of serums that you choose should vary. So in the morning you want lots of antioxidants, things like vitamin C, ascorbic acid, vitamin B, um, ferulic acid, coenzyme Q10, things that will help to block UV damage from getting into your skin and helping to repair any damage. And then at night time you want something a bit more um, rejuvenating. So that's where you go up a gear and maybe use your retinoids, hyaluronic acid, your peptides and your stem cells. So your serums are key, but you have a different job in the morning versus night. So you should have one for the morning, one for the night. Now one of the um, heads on the Braun Face Bar Pro, which you, you have, the metal toning head, I find works brilliantly for the serum step as it helps to improve uh, the product absorption. So it's a great tool also for doing a bit of lymph drainage treatment around the eyes, just gently tapping away from the eye towards the temples. Wonderful. Yes, oh my gosh, I have used these and it gives you, it's like a, a massage and the fact that it's, uh, um, it has this cooling almost effect, so it's, yeah. it's love wonderful. That. I love that tip. Dr. Anita, I've used um, the Face Bar Pro, this attachment, the attachment that it's very helpful, especially at night time, to really clean your skin. And I have a question as far as exfoliating. How often should we exfoliate? This is a really good question. And so many of my patients in clinic are over exfoliating and damaging their skin. So it's a good thing to do, but you have to be careful not to overdo it. So my tips are to do the exfoliation steps at night time only. So you get all night to recover and start with your cleanser. So choose an exfoliating cleanser with an ingredient like salicylic acid or lactic acid fruit acids that will help to break down some of the old skin. And then you can use the Face uh, Spa Pro. I like using the sensitive brush. You have the normal brush there. I have sensitive skin, so I prefer this one. And this just really helps to work your cleanser extra hard. So it's perfect for that more detoxifying nighttime cleanse. And then once a week, you can go up a gear and use a bit more of an active exfoliant. So use a mask. Um, again, things like glycolic, lactic acid, pyruvic acid, the fruit acids work brilliantly. And you could use that with the normal head just to get a bit of a, a harder exfoliation going on. Always make sure you follow with a hydrating serum after you exfoliate to put that hydration back in. One last thing before uh, we finish. Uh, what is your number one advice as far as anti-aging and taking care of the skin? What do you suggest us? Oh, well, I have so much. Um, I would say the number one basic step is to master your cleansers. So particularly your nighttime cleanse, regardless of how tired you are, never go to bed wearing your makeup. So make sure that you do a good cleanse, take off the makeup, You've got the Braun Face Bar Pro, so you could use the, um, the sensitive brush with a nice uh, exfoliating detoxifying cleanser just to take away any oil and congestion so that whilst you sleep, your skin is fully repairing itself and ready for the next day. Right, and I do notice, I have to say, I've learned to really uh, clean up my skin and this is an amazing tool uh, because if I don't, I definitely notice in the morning. Yeah, even one night you skip your cleanser, that could set up a pathway of inflammation which then will take several weeks to repair again. Absolutely, absolutely. Dr. Anita, thank you so much. You've been so helpful. It's been such a treat to talk to you. And uh, definitely for everybody else, if you guys want more information, you can definitely find them on the Braun website and uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Anita. Great to talk to you.